everybody so glad that you guys are here so this is a card reading this time I do not have any stones or light language because I want you guys to use your intuition here in front of you we have pile number one two three and four and this is for next month so if you guys want to just stop take a moment and breathe use your intuition ask the questions that you need to ask about whatever situation you are going through or if it's just something you need to know and then open your eyes and whichever card pile stands out to you whatever you feel um eeny meeny miny mo <laughs> however you feel that you wish or that you want to pick your pile just go ahead and do it if you are looking for your own um personal reading because these are general readings just FYI if it does not match with what you are going through then it probably wasn't for you um and it probably resonates with somebody else but if you want something that resonates with you and have a, your own personal reading please email me uh comment down below or email me at annie in the light at gmail.com and we will take care of that for you i am also a reiki master um I am an intuitive reader and a BQH practitioner. If you are looking for hypnosis or anything at all, these services are by donation basis and I would love to be able to talk and help with you guys. So here we go. Let's start with group number one. Here we go. This is for group number one. Here we go. First cards are King of Air. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll just them down here. We've got the King of Air, the Eight of Earth, the Ten of Earth, King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, a Nurturing Heart, the Mother, I am a Protective Spirit and reach out to all of life with love and compassion. The number 12, number 18, patience, and also innocence. Okay. So you guys, um, I don't know if you work with children, you're looking to have children, or you're going through a situation with your children or your parents. So this is a family type of spread, a card. I see a lot of children in here. I don't know. Um, you could be looking to have children or adopt children. You may be a teacher. You may work with children or you may be pregnant. All of this has to do with children, nurturing, taking correct, decisive action. So what are you guys going through? Um, whether if it's a situation with words and minds with somebody about children or two children right now, your patience is needed. Your patience on the words are needed. The patience on the thought process are needed. Your action, however, towards the children is needed as well. So have patience in the thought process, but if you, you know, say need to be with children or do something different, it's a new thought process. It's a new, um, way of being, of protecting. I see a lot of protection and nurturing in this spread. You know, you have, maybe you have a new idea of what would be good for the kids and you need to take action on that. I'm seeing that taking that action. There's mothering here or nurturing here and here and here and here and here. This card is full of it, patience and innocence. There's a baby unicorn with his mother, the baby, this man. This man holds this life in perfect balance, in perfect balance. It's, you know, he has angel wings, if you can see that. And he's protecting this child, this newborn life. So something new with every single balance, perfectly balanced. There's protection and there's love and there's nurturing. There's action. 
and love being taped. You see these little guys loving all over this king. Like he has, he has the right moves. He has the right action. He tells them what they need and takes them where they need to go. And they honor him for that. His example alone is what is beautiful. Be the example for these children. It takes patience, but they are innocent and they need you. Right now, if you're looking to have children, I see that this protection, that this everything about this is exactly where you need to be. You're on the right path, um, but the future is waiting for us, for how we show them. What example do we show these kids for the future on how we need to be, on what the future will be through this new energy? What are we going to teach next? Where is this world going to go? Because it's going to go by the way we create it to go and how we teach the children, how we teach compassion, how we teach love, how we teach worthiness and balance. That is also very, very, very important. Whatever it is going on with the kids, be there for them, love them, have compassion and be protective because that is your role right now. Your role is very protective and I see that for you guys and to take this action for these guys. These guys need us, these babies. So um, this is for you guys, group number one. If it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Again, if it doesn't, it's a general reading and um, maybe it wasn't meant for you and I can give you a personal reading. So I appreciate you guys for watching and we will get on with group number two. Thank you. Hi, group number two. This is for you. All right. We have temperance, the four of air, king of water, king of swords, the magician, seven of pentacles, reach out, number 29, <coughs> excuse me, Number 46, Sanctuary and Flow. Okay. So, what you guys... <coughs> <coughs> so, what you guys, I see, have been going through is all sorts of things. Some of you have been taking long rests. Some of you have been in deep thought. Some of you have been going through a lot of patience for something. Some of you, um, some of you are looking into the outside of you to get through a certain situation or trying to get through a situation. So maybe there was a breakup or for example, yeah, for example, maybe there was a breakup and you decide to go get drunk instead of moving forward or numbing yourself out or using something on the outside of you to make you feel better. And that's what I'm seeing in this group. I'm seeing that the outside forces, the outside situations that you have brought to yourself because of a situation is causing you a certain kind of um, uncomfortableness and what I'm seeing is that it's time to transform that it's time to take these emotional wounds that you've received and maybe rest maybe maybe take a little patience take time for yourself maybe go in go in take the patience and the time for yourself go in alone relax deep rest and nourishment to heal these emotional wounds because what you are doing to yourself by bringing in outside um, situations to make you feel better is a band-aid and they may work for a minute and that's fine but in the long run it won't benefit you it is telling you that reach out maybe even reach out to the people that hurt you or reach out to somebody that you know will help you um, or go inside, take time for yourself, take off the mask, put these pieces back together and figure out what all of this has to do with you because you have your own flow. You have your own life. 
And when somebody doesn't live life according to you, then things don't feel right or things don't seem right. But when you do that, it's because you have taken their power to live life, not the way they see it, but the way you see it. And people can't do that. Everybody's perception is different. Everybody's reality is different based on the perceptions that they have. And nobody has lived the exact same life. So nobody's perception is going to be the same. Not at all. And when somebody doesn't see eye to eye with you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean they're wrong. You just integrate these situations and you work together and you work towards something instead of away from something. You don't ask outside things to help you when the answers are already within. So these answers are these puzzle pieces that you just need to put together to make the bigger piece of you, the bigger piece that shows you who you truly are. And nothing on the outside makes you who you are, not a person, not a job, not food, people, relationships, nothing, nothing on the outside of you, not your face on the outside of you. It's what's on the inside of you that makes you who you are. When something happens, how do you react to that situation? That determines who you are. And by going through all of these situations and emotions and words and learning your new flow, learning how to change your feelings in these situations, is what helps you go on to the inside and helps you figure out who you are because who you are is what's really needing to come out this month. And that's what I'm showing for you guys, pile number two. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, again, if it does not, you can get a reading that is more suited for you, more resonated to you, and we can go from there. I, um, I appreciate you guys so much. And if you have any questions, anninthelight at gmail.com or just go down below and we'll take care of you. Bye. Hi, group number three. So this is for you. Let's do your reading. I'm ready to go. All right. First things first is the Prince of Air. I just want to show this card real fast because there's a lot to it and it's kind of dark. But you got that guy slaying his dragons. Booyah. I just thought you'd like to see that. Then we have the two of water, five of water, the tower, the devil, the hierophant. Interesting. What's going on, you guys? We have integration. I see what you need. We have the number 10, the number five, compassion. Yeah, I see what's going on here. And I'll receive, this is a very beautiful spread, you guys. So the first thing is first is I see this has to do with you and your significant other or you and somebody else that you're in relationship with could be your mom, your brother, your best friend, your whoever, but it is a very tight relationship, you know, so your significant other or someone very, very, very close and tight with you. And I see that you guys may be going through something right now. <clears throat> That's okay. Everybody goes through something. Um, it is how we choose to move forward, how we choose to react, what serves us and what doesn't. Um, walking away from people that don't serve us or sticking it out, working it through and figuring out what works best for you. So again, this is about you and somebody very close to you. And I see that whatever you guys are going through, um, you might have had some words said that may have hurt your feelings or maybe even you said something that hurt their feelings. Or maybe you guys are slaying your dragons. Maybe there's stuff that has been going on that you've been keeping to yourself and you told your significant other or the other person that this is about something, whatever it is that you needed to say. You're slaying your dragons and, you know, or they said something to you that caused some major issues, some pain, some emotional trauma. You know, you're not on the right path. You're not on, I'm sorry, you're not on the same page. You're not on the right page 
with one another. You, you see it this way when they see it this way. And um, you're here. There's a relationship here. There's love here. There's something, there's something about this that um, matters a lot. And right now it feels like everything's just crumbling down. And the devil's, you know, that monkey on your back that won't get you guys on the same page, won't let you guys see eye to eye. There's too many structured beliefs. There's too many conditioned thoughts that is keeping you from being in that relationship, in that loving um, moment with one another that you guys deserve. That's this top row. I am seeing that it's time to integrate both of your thoughts. Whoever's right here and whoever's here, there's no wrong or right. There is right and right. And this person may not be right to you, but in their mind, they're right. And that counts for something. And this person is right. Maybe not right to this person, but they have an opinion and they have feelings and that matters. And until we can stop saying, no, I'm right, validate me. No, I'm right, validate me. And instead of, until we stop doing that and integrate together and see, oh, I can see why that's right for you. Can you see why this is right for me? And look eye to eye, integrate, study what's going on. Don't stay in the same place. Move, move, go forward. It doesn't matter if you can understand what makes it right for them, but try. Know that it is. Know that that's how they see it. If you come to an impasse, have compassion for one another. If you can't integrate the two rights and quote unquote wrongs and, and you can't get them to go together, have compassion for one another. Receive their thoughts. Don't take them in and change your life even because you don't think it's right for you, but receive them with love. And see how it's right for them. Let them show you through example why this is right and let you show them through example why this is right. Receive that information and love one another because you wouldn't be here wondering what was going to happen if you didn't want some sort of relationship to come out of this. You care. There's passion and there's love and you care and you don't want it to be wrong and you don't want it to be sad. You don't want this monkey on your backs anymore. You want love. You want to stay together. That's why you're here. So what can you do? What can you do to help that process? I mean, swallow your pride, hug somebody, say, I don't feel I'm wrong, but I do understand you. It just takes simple kindness and simple understanding. Validation doesn't have to come by you changing your whole thought process and your whole belief system just to match somebody else. Validation can be compassion and love and sincerity and that's what the situation is asking for because it doesn't look like they're going to change their mind and it doesn't look like you're going to change your mind it just it looks like you need to integrate the processes together so that you can be happy once again because it, that will build a foundation so much stronger than you already have so much stronger so you guys if this resonates with you give me a thumbs up comment down below um let me know if it doesn't again if you want a, a reading that resonates more with you you can let me know at annie in the light gmail.com at gmail.com or comment down below and i will get you guys started i'm also a reiki uh healer and a BQH hypnosis practitioner. All of this is through donation basis and I would love, love, love to help you guys out. So let me know. Thank you. I honor you. Bye. Hi everybody. This is for group number four. So let's get started and see what this month has to tell you guys. We have the seven of air, the three of water, eight of water, The Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. Find your bliss, the number 21, the number 22, courage, and freedom. Okay. 
So you guys have been kind of put through the ringer, whatever it is that you've been going through. Um, maybe it's with a business partner or your friends. Um, it has something to do with a project I can tell, or just a lot going on is what I see. Even, even if there's, um, meditation work or resting and things like that. Like, like you've been resting a while, you've been working a while, um, hard, hard work. And I see like, maybe you've come to the end of certain cycles. I'm, I'm feeling that it is time to go cut a rug, go have some fun. We've got find your bliss. I am following a path I love and I'm fully aligned to my soul purpose. Bliss means happiness and everything high vibrational wise. Your bliss is just the best, you know? So here is card number 21 and we've got dice and cards and, you know, a four leaf clover and 13 and 777. I mean, it's kind of like a black cat, a mirror. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know. For me right now, I'm just seeing it's time to go cut loose. Go let it hang out. Kind of just go have some fun. Maybe not necessarily go to Vegas, but, you know, go to the movies or take a moment. Just stop and find your accomplishments. Because right now, for what I feel is that you've been going through so, so much that little pieces of you are starting to get taken away from you. And if you don't, if you don't take that time out, if you don't stop and have some fun and realize what it is that you're working for, you know, with your partners and then you're going to feel alone. Like you're left out of everything and everyone and you're going to feel buried and you're going to feel like you missed everything. You need freedom. You need to say, you know what? I'm not doing this today. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go have fun. I deserve it. Self-love for the win. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. So what I'm seeing is that it's just time. Just let some of this go for the day, for the weekend, for the week, whatever it is. And you will find that you will be fully restored and whole and ready to face the music with your partners. Um, ready, not maybe not face the music, but, you know, ready to help each other better. Um, you'll be fully rested, strong, and you'll feel like it's time for that. That's what it's. That's what it's there for. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys, group number four. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up. Shoot me a message down below or let me know what um, you guys have gone through that makes this, you know, fit you. And if it doesn't and you want uh, a reading that's more suited for you, it's personal, then let me know. I'm also a BQH practitioner and a Reiki healer. I do everything through a donation basis. You can work something out. There's no reason not to. So let me know. And I thank you very, 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 very much. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful.